Hi guys, I'm Josh from Brilliant Labs and welcome to our intro to the B board. If you've just received your B board, this is the perfect video for you. We're basically gonna be going over all the functionalities and features on the B board so that you guys know what everything does. The B board is an Atlantic Canadian open source prototyping platform for all you innovators and makers out there excited to prototype your projects. The B board works in tandem with the BBC Microbit to bring an infinite amount of projects to life. The B board is your one-stop shop prototyping destination. You can go online to our Brand Labs IDE where you can code with blocks, JavaScript, or even Python to bring your projects and prototypes to life. The main purpose of this video is just to get you guys comfortable with all the functionalities and features on the B board. So let's get into some of these features that bring all your crazy projects to life. First off, right on the left hand and right hand side, there are two motor drivers on your B-board. This is great if you wanna create a robot, let's say. At the top of the B-board here, it's very hard to see, but it's a small little logo on the front and back in this little box. That is a microphone built in right to the B-board. So you could use that microphone for, let's say, trying to measure the sound levels in the room, how quiet, how loud it might be, kinda cool. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Right in the center of the B-board in our hexagonal shapes, there are five separate LEDs. These are great to use for lighting up whatever you want. You can customize the color. You could even make it so anytime it's hot in the room, the lights flash red, or when it's cold in the room, the lights flash blue. You could also use it in tandem with the mic to measure how loud the sound might be in the room as well. So a lot of options there with the, with the LED lights. At the bottom of the B-board, there are three servo motor connectors. Let's go back to the top of the B-board, right where the mic was. Right beside that, we have a built-in speaker. This is great if you use our IDE to code music and you wanna hear it out loud. Let's turn our B-board around and look at this big silver piece here. This is actually our Wi-Fi connection. So this is what enables your B-board to log onto the Wi-Fi and upload data or collect data to a cloud, for example. On the B-board, you can also see it's surrounded with a plethora of gator grabber connectors. This is great for when you wanna use these gator grabbers to make any connections for any project you're doing. This is great if you wanna conduct power to a motor or make multiple connections at once. You can do that all by using the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a bunch of gator grabber. The gator grabbers are connected to terminal blocks as well. So that allows you to take any wire, let's say a wire to this motor, and you actually unscrew here, and you slip it right in, and then you screw it to tighten it back up. So obviously, your B-board is not gonna run without any power, and luckily for you guys, we have plenty of power options. Lithium-ion battery, a battery pack, or even a wall plug. And the battery port's just right on the bottom to get the power. Your B-board is also equipped with two microbus connectors, Microbus is basically the connection for your clickboard. So there's different clickboards like motion sensor clickboards, temperature clicks, weather click, Wi-Fi clicks, proximity clicks, CO2 click, infrared click. To connect it, it just goes, you line up your pins with the connectors here and you do it all at once and it clicks right in, makes a pretty nice sound. Boom, and you can have two at a time. And while we're on the topic of connections, Let's look at the main connection your B-board's gonna be utilizing all the time, which is the microbit header, this big black bar at the bottom. It is basically going to hold your microbit V1 or V2. So your microbit just slides right into the header, just like so, with a very satisfying click, and now your connection is complete. Also beside your microbit header is a little tiny switch. That is how you turn your power on and off. So even if a power supply is plugged in and that switch is on the off setting, you're gonna get no power. You gotta switch that up, and now you got power. At the bottom of the B board, again, you also have breakout pins, and these are great for adding more ports or adding more LEDs and things of that nature. So now for my favorite part of the B board, let's turn it back around once more. You're gonna see a big heart design here. This is our Blix processor. The name is right beside it. Our Blix processor is basically like a computer, and it's what allows the B board to run and operate and, and do everything. It's kind of like your processor in your laptop or PC at home. It's not gonna run without a processor. Ours is called the Blix processor and it's the heart of the B-Board. And that basically sums it all up. Those are your features and functionalities of the B-Board. Now you guys can always refer to this video if you don't know what a certain section is. 
We are super excited to bring you guys more tutorials on simple things, on how to power on your B-Board properly, and things like that. Those are gonna be hosted on our YouTube channel and on BLTV, which is super cool. Check out BLTV, man, come on. Oh my gosh, it's like our own YouTube, pretty much. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Happy prototyping.